There is two type of people who write JavaScript. One which is the professional and the one who didn't even get b****. You for example. But to change that, I'm going to tell you the 5 secret JavaScript tricks to get a programmer wife. Now let's say you have an object and you need to see it as a table in the console. What's the most logical thing to do? Think about it for a second. Alright, we don't have time for your sh**. Just use console.table and pass in your object name. Here's an example. Now to transform an array by applying a function to each element in the array, you have to use the array.prototype.map. That returns a new array with the modified elements, leaving the original array unchanged. For example, you can use the map method to square all the elements in an array, like this. const squared array equals array.map and define your function. Now this trick is specifically for beginners. Like, come on bro, just use template list Without them, no chick will ever find you attractive. Instead of using multiple line breaks, you can use template literals to create strings that span multiple lines. Here is how. Let's create a name and an age variables. Now, to insert them into text, just write your text and instead of the name, write that dollar sign with curly brackets and pass in your name variable. And the same thing for the age. Now again with the noobs, you guys are really using if else? Like I get it, it's important in some cases, but you as a beginner, you don't really have any complex shit unless you're watching a tutorial on how to make a better Facebook using vanilla JavaScript. Anyways, from now on you're using the ternary operator. For example, condition question mark expression 1 column expression 2. That means if the condition is true, the ternary operator will evaluate to the expression 1. Otherwise, it will evaluate to the expression 2, kinda like else. Now, this is a quick one, but I wanted to show you how to use CSS inside the console. Just write console.log, then inside a single quotation, and before your text, Text, write the percentage sign. Then just put a comma and inside a single quotation, write down your styles. Kinda like this. And the last one is, bro, we already said five. Anyways, if you wanna know why Ruby is dead, check out this video and I'll see you in the next one.